Oh, oh, hey, hey, I didn't see you guys there. Sorry, I was just uh, working on this recipe from this really sick cooking show I just watched. Welcome back to my cooking show, where today I'm making nachos. I don't think anyone actually learned anything from this, do they? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's, it's great, and um, I'll let that sit there. But you guys may have just saw my last video about the top binge-worthy shows on YouTube, and it did fantastic, if you guys didn't know that. All right, it, it, didn't, it didn't do that well, it didn't do that well. But I really like the concept, and to be honest, we're in quarantine, and we got a lot of time on our hands, and I happen to be a cooking show expert. When I say expert, I mean I just get like really big to watch funny cooking shows, just FYI. And so you know what, I figured I'm gonna share with you guys the best cooking shows on YouTube because some of the best cooking shows have absolutely nothing to do about cooking. There's a couple food shows on the internet that I think stand above the rest that people who are in quarantine dealing with corona could use an escape, could use some shows that take your mind off things and honestly, don't give you a reason to cook because the last thing anyone wants to do is put on a mask and deal with the war zone at a grocery store. Boy, if you don't get a shining example of this is Huang's world. I'm getting mine. It's like Anthony Bourdain style meets New York gangster chef. These motherfuckers in Moscow were fucking my flow up. <laughs> Eddie Huang about seven or eight years ago did a show on Munchies, uh, which is like a sub channel of Vice, where basically he takes you to cities across America, different parts of the world, and it is hilarious. He's going everywhere, he's getting baked, he's, he's wearing the most ridiculous outfits, and honestly, it is the furthest from a cooking show. Like, it's about food and him going and eating food, but really, it's about the perspective of an Asian American and how they deal with food. And it, that kind of comes out the more and more you watch it. But at the end of the day, it's one of those shows that's just so visceral and addictive and you just can't help but like want to watch more. Yo, make a pause. Giant waffle dills. What better present to like a baby shower? Hey ma, what's really good? But you know what? He was quickly replaced by someone perhaps twice as fat, really like four or five times, way more facial hair and way bigger of a stoner. In comes Action Bronson. Now we're about to go take care of business with this food. I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Yes, Action Bronson, the rapper. And to be quite honest, I think he's an amazing host. I've, I haven't heard any of his raps. Are they good? Like, I really don't know. But his food hosting shows, incredible. Now, when you think of Action Bronson, you might be thinking of which was an amazing show where him and two of his friends, which happen to be bodyguards, the monsters from Space Jam, they go around the world, they get baked as hell, way more baked than Eddie Huang ever did, and they just have a good time. It was hilarious, it was a great show, but that show kind of felt like it was copying Huang's world and boarding too much. Like. It was good, but it wasn't amazing. Until Action Bronson got baked enough and he created a show called The Untitled Action Bronson Show. Tonight on The Untitled Action Bronson Show. There's a karate lesson to be had. Smoke motherfucking perp. We pull up in these cups. Don't rush the roof. Chef Isaac toops everybody. If you don't like this, you can punch me in the face. Yeah! Isabelle Legeron. I don't smoke, I just drink. I'm already <laughs> high. Mayhem the rent, everybody. This works. Caviar with gum in the mouth. That's actually next level. Do it. Try it. This show is legendary. This show, I think, is slept on and does get enough credit, but it completely changed the food show game. What he did is he set up in the kitchen and he invited guests to come on to cook with him. And what he did that was hilarious and game changing is that he never cooked. He hosted and he had other famous and other local chefs come in and cook and cater the event. But in between doing this, he got everyone super blazed and super drunk. And then he had like sideshows come in. He had a live band. He had performers come in and it was everything but cooking, but it was cooking. And this changed the game because no one has seen a format of YouTube show or cooking show like this. And it was amazing. 
Hey guys, just a quick editing note. Uh, while I've been gathering these clips for the Huang's World and Action Bronson bits, I noticed that Munchies has put the full seasons for these shows behind a paywall, which is super whack and also really new because when they were originally released, it was all free. Um, but YouTube, you know, introduced that new service. However, you can watch a bunch of re-uploads and bootleg uploads on YouTube, and I'll link those there below as well. All right, enjoy this last cooking show. It's really good. There's a common theme here to all cooking shows. It must be somewhat related to cooking, per entertaining personalities touring the world, and you must be overweight and smoke weed. Which leaves us to the latest and actually still running amazing food show on the internet. And that is called Maddie and Benny Eat Out America. Me and Benny have, have become friends through food. What's up, baby? Mm -hmm. oh, wow. All I want to do Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun and make a YouTube show with my friend Benny. This is a really serious show about food. Thank you. This is like the culmination of the two previous shows wrapped into one, but 10 times weirder in modern editing. <laughs> Maddie is a chef who has had other food cooking shows, which I'm sure you probably haven't seen. Have you ever seen a show about food that's actually actually good? No. no. I take that back, Maddie. Your food shows are hilarious. They have millions of views. People have probably seen them. My apologies. Then he's also teamed up with Benny Blanco, who is a superstar producer. Do you know one time I was staying at Beyonce in Jay-Z's house? Guys, this guy made every pop song that you listen to on the radio. Like maybe I could just like refresh your memory right here real quick. Basically what these two do is they just do things somewhat food related. Like there's a trend, the further you get away from food, but make it a food show, the better it gets. And this show is hilarious. It is so literally not about food, but it is about food. You'll learn absolutely nothing but be entertained. But overall, you know, it's, it's an amazing show. And I think they're completely changing the game as far as entertainment food shows. And to be quite honest, during these hard times, I think it's exactly what we need. I think we need more non-food food cooking shows where we realize that food is what brings us together, but it's not always uh, the most important thing. And I think and I think that's the best thing I've learned. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You may not realize it, but videos like this take almost like 20 hours to shoot, edit, and just to upload and do all the descriptions onto YouTube. That being said, I've also been making videos on YouTube for over three years, and I absolutely love it. I really feel like I'm hitting my stride. And to be honest, I wanna make YouTube a bigger part of my life. Honestly, I'd rather make it my full-time career and how I make my money. So that being said, I did just open up a Patreon. I finally did it. I don't know how to feel about it, but I figured I might as well just give people the option to help support me financially. It would mean a lot. I would love to hit the goal of $1,000 to help pay my rent so I can become a full-time content creator and not have to take photos of someone's baby or wait tables part-time as well. So yeah, that'd be great. Honestly, it would be really great and I'd appreciate you so much. It's pretty bare bones right now, but I will be adding more features to it as time goes on and just to see what people react to. So please consider it. It'll be in the description below. Peace out. Stay safe.